Welcome everyone to another chess game of Paul Morphy and today I would like to show you another chess game of Paul Morphy against John Owen. So once again Paul Morphy epically sacrificed his F pawn against John Owen and he is playing with the black pieces. Owen has the white pieces as always and this game was played in London in 1858 probably in the London Chess Club in August. So John Owen, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, e6, d4, d5, e5, c5, c3, knight to c6. It looks like the Taraj defense. Knight to h3, c takes on d4, bishop to b5, d takes on c3, b takes on c3, bishop to c5. And Owen castled, knight from g to e7, knight to g5. Also Paul Morphy castled, queen to h5, and Owen is threatening checkmate with the queen, how to defend. Of course with h6, defending and attacking, knight to f3, bishop to d7, bishop to d3, queen to e8, not exchanging the queens, queen to g4, and Paul Morphy played an epic move. He played rook takes on f3, sacrificing the exchange. Wow, he is playing without his f pawn and now he is sacrificing the exchange. And what else? Queen takes on f3. And then knight takes on e5. Queen to g3 and knight takes on d3 by Paul Morphy. After knight takes on d3, what would you do in this position? Of course, you would capture the knight, what else? And then Paul Morphy played bishop to b5. Well, Paul Morphy is playing with his opponent like a cat, plays with a little mouse, attacking the queen and also attacking the rook and getting back the rook. So queen to h3 and then Paul Morphy captures the rook with the bishop. But before recapturing the bishop, Owen played Queen takes on e6, king to h7, and then king takes on f1, queen to h5, bishop to f4, and rook to f8, attacking the bishop, and also eyeing the pawn on f2, saving the bishop and defending on f2, Paul Morphy played a move, and John Owen resigned. Unbelievable. At move 21, well, Paul Morphy played knight to f5. And Owen resigned. And the important question is why Owen resigned after knight to f5? Well, let me show you the possible continuations. First, let's play a ridiculous move. Let's say a4. Then queen to d1. Only defense. But here comes knight to e3. And the pawn is pinned. Queen is pinned. Everything is pinned. The only move, king to g1 and queen takes queen. Checkmate. Amazing. So after knight to f5, let's say bishop to f4, then knight to e3. If bishop takes knight, queen to d1, checkmate in one move. And if f takes on e3, then queen to d1, king to f2. Rook takes on f4, the pawn is pinned. King to g3, bishop takes on e3. And I think this is enough. And what else if king to e1, then knight takes on g3. If f takes on g3, then rook to e8 winning the queen. And this is also over for white. Knight to d2, then knight takes on g3. h takes on g3, rook takes on f2, king to g1. Rook to f4, that's a discovered check to the king with the bishop. Only defense, bishop takes on e3. Checkmate. What a game by Paul Morphy. This was epic. Unbelievable. Don't forget that Paul Morphy was playing without his F pawn. That's why the game ended after knight to f5. A quiet move. But you see what would happen to white if white would not resign. That's why after Paul Morphy played knight to f5, John Owen resigned. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video 
and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye for now.